Hi, my name's Leo Kearse. I'm your state-appointed comedian. I'm going to be telling you some jokes in accordance with Scotland's new hate crime bill, so please rest assured that I won't be delivering any insulting communications that could be perceived as an attempt to stir up hatred against a protected group. I won't be saying anything that could be interpreted as racist, sexist, classist, ageist, ableist, homophobic, biphobic, transphobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, or anti-religion or anti-atheism. Does that sound like fun? Okay, let's, let's start with a simple one then. Okay, so an Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman. Stop! Is the humour in this joke predicated on the Irishman being neuro-untypical and thus appearing intellectually challenged in comparison with the other two, that's xenophobically demeaning and ableist, it's very problematic. No, the premise of the joke isn't predicated on the Irish person having a lower cognitive threshold than the other two. Everyone in the joke is completely balanced intellectually and cognitively. Very good, proceed. Okay, so an Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman. Stop! You can't say man. If their gender identity matches the sex assigned at birth, then they are cisgender males. Okay, a cisgender Englishman, a cisgender Scotsman, and a cisgender Irishman. Is everyone in this joke a straight cisgender male? There's no representation of any of the other 348 genders and sexualities. Okay, so a uh, cisgender English male, a gender queer non-binary Scot, and a... Uh... Why are you defining these people according to their nationalities? That's xenophobic and divisive. Please define them by their race. That's the good thing to do now, and they all need to be minorities to truly represent the panoply of races in the United Kingdom. Well, it is representative. I mean, the, the UK and Ireland is about 90% white. No, 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 it's not 90% white. We don't count those people as people. Okay, so uh, a gender queer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent, a lesbian Scottish Zoroastrian black woman. Okay, you can't say woman, that's transphobic. Please say person who menstruates. Okay, okay, a uh, uh, gender queer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent, a uh, uh, cisgender lesbian Scottish Zoroastrian black person who menstruates, and a, and a non binary pansexual white Irish other. Brackets, gypsy or traveller, close brackets, well, they all walk into a... Stop! Walk! They can all walk! That's very ableist. I think this joke would be much more inclusive if the protagonist had some sort of disability, but they weren't defined by their disability. We may be able to get you some kind of funding if you could make them a bit, you know... Okay, well, the, the English one's got Down syndrome, uh, the Scottish one's got no legs. I don't know why they don't have any legs, but they don't have any legs. And uh, the Irish one's uh, one of those ones with the big foreheads. He's got a big forehead and he's in a wheelchair, okay? He's got a big forehead and he's in a wheelchair. Very good, proceed. Okay, so uh, a genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome, a cisgender lesbian Scottish Zoroastrian black person who menstruates with no legs, and a non binary pansexual white Irish other. Brackets, gypsy or traveller. Close brackets with a big forehead who's in a wheelchair while they all operate their mobility devices so they enter this bar? A bar? This is very triggering for people who suffer from substance misuse issues which are statistically overrepresented in marginalised indigenous communities. Okay, it doesn't sell alcoholic drinks. It's a, it's a juice bar. It's a vegan juice bar. Juice? Okay, well, I'm worried about deforestation. I'm worried about the carbon footprint of these items. I mean, are you aware of the air miles that a mango takes? The exploitation of indigenous communities that can't sustain themselves with food crops because corporations have bought the land and have supplanted their sustainable farms with ecologically unsound monocultures that's all shipped abroad. Do you see what we're saying here? Okay, it's, it's, it's an organic vegan juice bar that only uses locally and sustainably sourced produce. Seasonal. It's an organic vegan juice bar that only uses locally and sustainably sourced seasonal produce. And juice can have a high carbohydrate content that can mean it simply can't be enjoyed by diabetics, which is very othering to them. Can you please address this? Okay, the vegan juice bar only uses low sugar, low glycemic index produce, okay? So a genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome, a cisgender lesbian Scottish Zoroastrian black person who menstruates with no legs, and a, a non-binary pansexual white Irish other, brackets, gypsy or traveller, close brackets, with a big forehead who's in a wheelchair. Well, they all operate their mobility devices that they enter this organic vegan juice bar that doesn't sell al any alcoholic drinks, and it only uses locally and sustainably sourced seasonal produce that has a low sugar content and a low glycemic index. The genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome says to the barman Stop! Barman! Barman! You're gendering a profession which is exclusionary to women, queers and non-binary people and you're assuming their gender Okay, bar person? Is that okay? Bar person? Very good, proceed the genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome says to the bar person, I've only got two pounds, can I order a- Stop! 
Order is this an exchange of goods for fiat currency based on a capitalist system that's systematically decimating the planet's resources and ecosystems in an extension of white colonialism? No, this is taking a lot of emotional labour for me. They should be engaged in a communal system of barter where one person can exchange the goods or services that they provide, such as Pilates tutorials on sex work. Sex work? Yes, we're sex positive. The genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome says to the bar person, can I exchange a hand job for a pint of uh, low sugar, low glycemic, locally and sustainably sourced seasonal turnip juice, please? Why is the English person ordering first? That's embedding a narrative of colonial supremacy. You're a garbage person. Okay, so the English person doesn't order first. Um, so, okay, a, a genderqueer third generation English Muslim of East Asian descent with Down syndrome, a cisgender lesbian Scottish Zoroastrian black person who menstruates with no legs, and a non-binary pan sexual white Irish other brackets gypsy or traveller clothes brackets with a big forehead who's in a wheelchair will they all operate their mobility devices so they enter this organic vegan juice bar that only uses locally and sustainably sourced seasonal produce that has a low sugar content and low glycemic index following a conversation with the bar person they all wank him off for a fucking turnip juice is that it it's not very funny typical white male